Hello YouTube Knife Critics here. Uh, as promised, I uh, have my new Brad Southern uh, freshly got this from the store. The blade is no longer bent. But uh, if you can notice, there is still a very tiny, tiny um, grind and evenness which pushes the the tip of the blade to the to the side to the left but uh, it's not it's almost not noticeable at all and um, this seems to be a common problem because when I went to the knife store and had a look at uh, the batch maybe this is just a batch thing but uh, you know this this knife seems to be the best condition they had all the other knives seems to have a common problem in my other video where where they had the blade like like so so the pivot has no problem but the blade would, would go off in a curve like like this yeah so now I have this one and uh, I'm happy with it it's good um, now as you can see, I have a couple of other blades on the on the table as well, just for comparison purposes. We have the Benchmade uh, 710 McHenry Williams, and the, you, you guys all know about this one, the ZT uh, 560. I uh, think I, I've seen quite a few uh, comparisons between the ZT and uh, the Spyderco here. <clears throat> well, the reason I got the Spyderco wasn't because I bought into the hype. Yes, there, there was a lot of hype on the internet, you know, on YouTube, on um, various different forums saying how good the Spyderco is. Um, but I, I bought it because I was curious about the steel as well as Spartaco's uh, iteration of the ball bearing system compared to, especially compared to the excellent ball bearing system that Kershaw has, the KVT system, I think that's what they call it. So um, as it turns out, it's it's really good. It's functional, uh, the, the deployment is really fast. Um, compared to the ZT, it's good. I love it. The only thing is um, the zero tolerance is a lot smoother. Like the ball bearing system, when when it's not locked or uh, either open or when it's in a closed position, like it's just much much smoother, much much smoother. The blade is compared to when the Spartacore is in a sort of a half open position. The Zilt Horse is just much smoother. Um, now, there, there's a lot of people talking about cost. Why is this knife cost cost so much? Especially when it's made in Taiwan, Taichung. Uh, when you can have uh, a knife of this caliber made in the US of A. Uh, also, quality steel, also titanium, much more sophisticated machining. And it's still, you know, for the same price as this one, with less material and less machining. Why is that? To be honest, I don't understand that either. It there, there's a bit, there's, uh, I mean, the only difference I see is the steel. Basically, the blade is of a different steel, and, and the the way they grind this at a curve. Uh, the the way they have to hollow grind this curve here, it's probably one of the reasons that I got a few. I get to see a few uh, blades that were uh, bent or off center, is because this curved uh, shape is very hard to grind. That that would be my theory. I'm not a knife maker, so I can't say definitively, but that would be my theory. For the for the Zeti here, um, a more conventional grind. Um, the blade is a uh, flat grind, at, at least for for this portion here. Um, so a more traditional shape, possibly easier to grind, 
I am not 100% sure, but uh, as far as I can see on the on the knife itself, there, there's a lot more machining done. Uh, you know, jimping here, all, all, all this 3D machining here on the on the G10 as well as on the titanium compared to this here. I like the G10 here. It's excellent, very very grippy. But then the titanium here is just smooth, stone watch finish, very smooth. Uh, no machining at all, so so it's quite a contrast, you know. On on the one side you have really good grip from the G10, and on the other side, if you put a bit of a you know oil in the pivot, and then they tend to seep out out of here, and then this side gets really slippery when you when you try to use it. So I don't know. Now people say, well, you know, you're comparing an EDC knife to a tactical knife. So it's not really the same thing. That's true. Um, this is an EDC knife, that's for sure, because it's not tactical. Uh, just because, you know, I mean, yeah, you can get a really good grip on it. Uh, but the tip, it it's really not made for stabbing purposes. And the blade thickness, it's uh, it's a uh, it's thick enough, but then uh, the pivot I wouldn't say it's it's overbuilt like the like the zero tolerances. And for everyday carry though, it it, it would make for an excellent knife. Um, but from the looks point of view, this is now very subjective. Looks is different for everybody. And to me, uh, it doesn't strike me as a sexy knife for everyday carry. Like if I wanted a sexy knife, this would be a sexy knife. You know, a lot of people will argue that, oh, look, this is also a tactical knife. Yeah, you know, with the blackened blade and all. And probably a much better stabber with a more pointy tip, but, uh, even for everyday carry, it's a uh, it's a very long bladed, but uh, just just the way the line flows, it it, it just looks sexy to me. The cur all the curves, uh, sexy. What can I say? Well, southern, not so much. You know, the way the G10 is cut out here, uh, it's a bit abrupt. You know, the the lines don't flow as well. And the one thing I do like about this knife though is that I, I think this is one of the very few sparticles where, where the blade sits so deep in, in the handle. And, uh, I, when I did a review on Benchmade's uh, Bob Lim's uh, Mini Deja Vu, I had commented that uh, if sparticle can make a blade that you know sits deeper in the, in the handle, they will sell tons of tons of them. Well, they did it. This is it. And um, the blade to handle uh, ratio, I'm talking about the length here, is also excellent. And because of that, the the blade comes very close at the end here. But then you're 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 pretty safe. You probably won't cut yourself unless you have tiny tiny fingers or or you stick your pinky in there and just try it. Try to purposefully cut yourself, otherwise you probably won't, you'll be fine. Um, points to improve. Well, the clip is terrible. It is not machined, you know, in accordance to the to the handle's contour over here. As other review has pointed out, there is a pointy tip here. Don't know why they didn't grind that off. Here is also pointy. I know why they didn't just didn't make it either flat or, or round off just I don't know why pure laziness I uh, didn't like that at all so I'll probably take that to the grinder and uh, round that off so now the reason I bought it was for uh, the ball bearing system so I'm gonna open this knife up and show you guys the, the uh, Spartaco's uh, iteration of the ball bearing system Okay, now I've taken the blade apart, and as you can see, the ball bearing systems. Uh, I don't know if you can see that too clearly. 
but here's the ball bearing so you're pretty safe here you can pick this up and you won't lose any of the ball bearings unlike the uh, Benchmade uh, show key that I reviewed where they just have uh, loose you know, ball bearings where you, you may lose one of them it's gonna be really careful with the, with that one but uh, this one you're fine uh, one interesting thing I, I did notice is that uh, you see this you have this flap here where on um, in in, uh, in uh, both sides of the handle scales and this flap here it sits in the scale like so and then the ball bearing rides on that so the ball bearing will go into that like so and it will turn now that piece of uh, metal I just showed you this one here this is uh, a softer metal compared to the ball bearings so one thing you gotta be really careful is to not tighten the pivot screws too much because if you do tighten it too much uh, first you're gonna have you're gonna make an indent of all these balls on, on on these metals here so if you do tighten it too much when you open that up again you're gonna see indents of all these balls on, on this metal here and what that's gonna do is basically uh, cause uh, like a grinding action well not really a grinding action but they, they will reduce the smoothness of your action that's for sure as you're opening and closing the blade so you don't wanna you don't wanna have those indents in, in this piece of metal here uh, I do like this because this is something that should be easily replaceable I, I don't know if you Spartaco sells these separately uh, I will hope that uh, if you do have a problem, Spartaco will be able to send you these things and say, look, I uh, just gotta replace these and you're good to go again. Okay. That is, I really like that design. This is, uh, this is, I, I think this is something uh, the Zero Tars doesn't have. Uh, so good on Spartaco, especially this is, since this is their first iteration of their, uh, the bearing uh, system now on the blade itself as you can see the I'm gonna wipe, wipe it off a little bit as you can see the th th there's no uh, extra piece of metals between the blade and the ball bearing system it, it, it is the ball bearing system rolls uh, right against directly against the blade itself uh, now I don't know how hard the ball bearings are but uh, they seems to be making their mark on the blade at least on the finish I mean I'm not surprised by that I mean doesn't matter how hard the blade is the ball bearing will leave a mark so I wouldn't be too concerned about that maybe uh, down the road with a long-term review I will be able to tell you you know how um, how the blade is making out with the constant uh, rolling action uh, rolling interaction with the ball bearings but for now it seems to be okay so that's that um, yeah if you want to comment on if you think this knife is worth it for you or if you don't think it's worth it for you let me know but uh, uh, I mean I've heard I've heard it on both sides some people think it's you know great quality for the money others don't uh, me personally I, I wanted it for what it is I'm curious about the steel I have yet to extensively test it out but uh, it's been super super sharp so far and I have no reason to doubt that it's not gonna perform and as for the cost versus you know what you, if you really get what you pay for I would still say that the zero tars is a better deal if you're trying to decide between the two of them yes this is a larger knife a uh, much larger blade to begin with uh, compared to the Spartaco but uh, I think it's a really better value for your money that would be my take okay knife critics out